So yeah, that happened. Well, it always happens when you're flying quads. You hit something. Maybe you hit the ground a bit too hard, or maybe as I was trying to do, power loop a rugby goalpost and hit the rugby goalpost on the arm. Just what happened, and the broken arm. Now, I put the, the crush in there for you to see, so that you can judge for yourself whether you think that I hit the post with enough force to break an arm in your opinion. If you think that, yes, it was just no, no arm would have ever resisted that, or where you think, well, that wasn't much of an accident, why did the arm break? But that's up to you to make your mind up in that regard. Personally, I think it probably should have resisted it. I was only running 1104 motors, very small, uh, just on some bi-blade props. So not much weight on the end to, to, to create that, that, that pressure on the end of it when you hit to, to break the arm. But we've got some clues now as to, as to some, some issues perhaps that you probably noticed. I think I mentioned in my video when I was looking at this originally as to why the arm broke. Now on Airblade's website, and firstly and foremost I say, I like Airblade, they're a great company, they've always done well by me, I've had some of their products in the past, their frames, and they've always been you know, excellent, anything I've bought from them has been brilliant, and I love using their battery straps, the little micro battery straps, they're brilliant. So um, Airblade, I'm not saying don't use them, I'm saying use them, but let's have some caution on this particular frame unless things change. So... As we said, Airblade on their website say, well, it's obvious that the carbon's in the wrong direction. You can see that from the arms. It seems to be in completely the wrong direction with the um, with the fibres of the carbon going across the arm, not going along with the arm, which is what you're looking for. You want the carbon to be going along the arms, and that provides the greatest amount of strength for those arms. But on their website, they say, well, it's obvious that's not happening on the outside, but their manufacturers promise them that on the inside of the frame, the carbon is in the right direction and everything's okay so don't worry fly it is strong etc etc well the accident really has shown to me that perhaps that's not quite accurate now it may look there's a part missing there but there isn't it's basically the actual break as, as you can see has delaminated across the arm itself and because it's the shape of it that it's, that it's created as you can see that shape is in fact in line with the outside surface so it's not a decorative layer or just the outside layer it's how the carbon is all the way through which I have to admit many people would have suspected from the start that the outside layer was indicative of what's on the inside but there you go we can now see more evidence because of my crash we can see that actually maybe the carbon isn't going in the right direction that's created a weakness um, that hitting the the rugby goalposts has uh, has had an effect on and has broken the arm. Interestingly enough, when the arm actually broke, it just kind of, it, it hadn't actually broken off completely. It sort of just snapped and you could see that it delaminated and just moving back straight, the whole thing just came off. So yeah, it wasn't a, a clean break straight away. Um, so there you go. That's a bit annoying, but still there you go. We've now had a sign to see exactly what is underneath this carbon and um, we can get a better idea. So you can then judge for yourself, watch this video, watch my previous review video on my channel, and then you can make your own mind up. But there we are. I've got some ideas about what I want to use this pattern for here. I might just cut the arms off with a hacksaw or something, and then I might be able to use these parts here for another project that I'm working on, which will hopefully uh, be able to show you a bit of later on in the next coming week or so. So thanks so much for watching hopefully this has been informative you can see from my accident perhaps make a judgment maybe on their website airblade keep using them please keep using them they're a great company this is obviously just a bit of an aberration in, in what's happening perhaps their manufacturer will change the processes and maybe say the mark two of this frame might have the carbon in, in the right direction but from what i can see here it probably isn't on this original part one frame fortunately it wasn't very expensive so we'll see how it goes anyway. Maybe I'll start just selling the base plates and I can get one of those and because you know, I've still got the little arm pieces and they're fine. Um, they actually see that the carbon's in, in the right direction for these. They're quite strong. So there was no problem with those. Just literally the arm breaking there. So there you go. So hopefully that's been informative. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time watching my videos. Keep safe and uh, keep flying. And I hope to see you perhaps in another video shortly. Take care. Bye-bye.